My partner loves the Nightmare Before Christmas, especially Jack the Skeleton. And every time I do a live stream, everyone loves that, so I figured I'll just show you that first. But it's currently 3.34 a.m. I'm currently finishing my post-workout shake protein thingamajig. And I decided I'm going to do a week in the life of the hypnotist, because you know what? It's been a while, my schedule's changed, and this is going to be a crazy hectic weekend. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it to some degree. I'm also on third shift. My schedule's changed. And there's just been a lot going on, which we'll go over later in the uh, vlog, but uh, here we go. Hey, it's, uh, I don't know, I just showed my computer. It's, it's late though. It's late slash early. It's between like 5 and 5.30 a.m. Just wrapped up some work stuff. Now we gotta go to bed because we have a haircut appointment in about nine hours to prepare for this weekend's tour. Look at that. I got some stuff done on my Wi-Fi. I, I am, I'm being a good entrepreneur. All right, nap time. So I'm going to say, right or left hand? Alright, right, so, hold like this, hold it, uh, like that. Alright, now, give me a number. Tell you that, line. Yeah. 13. I'm not psychic, bro. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Thanks for not saying 52. 11, 12. I've had people do that before. Alright, take this with that hand. That's 13. I'm going to turn around so I can't see if I want you to look at that. Don't, do not show that to the camera. Okay. And then whenever you're ready, just put it back face down wherever you want. Got that? Yep. Okay, now I'm going to put, give you the deck really quick. I want you to put it behind your back to make sure I can't finagle with it. Okay. okay. In your mind, I want you to think about the number, okay? Okay. Now, that's called cheating. You could have said yes, hmm, or nodded in your head, but you said okay, meaning it is a number between two and ten in deck of cards, not a jack, queen, king, or ace. And the fact that you looked off that way and now are smiling, look at me, it means <laughs> I'm right. Don't smile, it makes it way easier. You're terrible at poker. Look at me, straight face. Just think if it was a red card or a black card. Your smile didn't go away, you got a little bit, you got a twinkle in your eye when I said red, so we're looking at nine of hearts, right? Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> that's really good, dude. That's Thank really you, good. Man. Lazy transition. All right, back home, we got, uh, just past four, we have less than a half hour before we gotta get on a mastermind call with Hypnotist Kendall Moon to help her with her hypnosis journey and her very first client. So, I think first thing I have to do, I was just texted that I have to contact a client. I have a meeting from 4.30 till 5.30 EST today. And I'm going to have to wash my hair. <laughs> then I think maybe eat something? Or just get on call with Kendall. Hey, it's Kendall Moon. Here we go. Woo! How, how's, 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 I have no clue how to do this backwards. How's Kendall Moon? I cannot hear you. I cannot. I, technology, hold on. Literally practice and go through the motions. Okay, what mic do I attach to the camera on the tripod? What mic do I attach to me? Where do I attach it to me? Um, how do I turn them on? How do I make sure they're syncing? Record it, making sure that th that recording process is good. Uh, put the camera into place, be in front of the camera, and then walk far away from the camera and come back. Like, literally test all these things out because we have even messed it up. Um, and one of the worst feelings is doing an awesome show and then looking back on it and having no audio. Yeah, I was very 
very disappointed in myself when I did a show last year in Gary, Indiana, before doing a college show the next day. I looked at my footage hours later and found out that the entire Gary private party show, which was a good show, had no audio. I was super bummed. Lazy transition number two. There we go. Oh, crap. We got to do laundry. And out of the sex dungeon, I mean basement. So I thought about um, grabbing and re-putting on my martial arts shirt. But honestly, oh man, that just looks good. I'm just proud of myself recently. I've been more dedicated to the gym and my health. What was that? Was that, a, that was a really big bird in the window. Hello. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna wear this. So let's just go get the, uh, the martial arts uniform. It's not realistic that we don't do that. We don't do any of that in class. So I was just going over my uh, Bible verse. I actually don't know what chapter or verse it is. I know it's two to three or chapter two, verse three, four. I don't, I don't know. All I know is that the line is something along the lines of, uh, of course, now I'm putting myself on the spot in front of the camera. So it's like, um, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. And I have to figure that out. And remember that for next Thursday, a week from now, because I'm currently a second degree brown belt. And was told I'm testing for my first degree next week because it's really weird. I think it's I think I think it's a little odd. Like here are my belts, right? But here's th this is my first brown belt. But we call it a third degree. This is a second degree, and I'm testing for my first degree. So it's weird that you go like up all these belts in Kempo and then you get to the first, but that's actually considered the third. And then your third belt in the rank is actually your first rank round. I don't know, all I know is I'm trying to be a badass, but I do not legitimately at all feel like the badass version of Bruce Lee like I thought I would feel 20 years ago when I thought that this would be a cool thing to get into. I still enjoy it, but I don't feel like Bruce Lee. I definitely need to work on my kicks. I'm so lazy with my kicks. Plus, this is also me just being vain. I also like having this haircut when I do martial arts because it just makes me look like a samurai badass. At least that's what my haircut person says. Thank you, Jason. You stroke my ego so kindly. And since I just called myself out for my kicks, let's do a transition all the way to class. So in the home gym with a step up side kick. All right, there we go. And everyone, thank you to my OG videographer, Taylor. No, your, oh your card. <laughs> it's been a day. Sorry, Don't sorry. It has been a day. See, it's been Hydrate. a day. Hydrate. Hydrate. Drink, drink I have some water. <laughs> and here we go. Yeah, Zach, yours is gone too. Yes, but I keep my God out before I got his. Oh, 
Debate time, post Kempo. Aaron, 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 with an E. Can it be unisex? I'm Let us know in the comments. I know. <laughs> Eat mulch! Just had to throw him in the mulch, didn't you, Carter? Thanks a lot. By the way, Philip, if your camera, which I'm using in this moment, has mulch or anything, don't be mad at me. I will dox Carter for you. Yeah. I was going to go immediately to a workout, but I was told my partner got me Chinese, so I want to eat a little bit before we go work out. So, nom nom time. I totally forgot to record my workout session, my bad. I'm still in the massage chair now though. I'm gonna enjoy it. 1 a.m. and uh, yeah, I'm tired, I just did shoulders. I totally forgot, I got to the gym and I was like, I just wanna get to the gym and get my shit done because I didn't wanna be around other people, which is part of the reason I'm looking into and uh, in the process of investing in a lot more home gym equipment because I already have a home gym, just not all the equipment I want. And I'd like to go into just a room in the house and get everything I need done quickly and efficiently versus going to an actual gym that the public uses and pays for and then having stuff that I want and need in the moment but it's not available because a bunch of other people are using it. And back in the day, and by that I mean months ago, no one used to come at this time. Like, it's like the weather's nice just so everyone's like, let's go later when there's less people. So now there's more people. But I gotta go home now, shower, eat, prepare to pack, lay down with the lady before she goes to work. Um, yeah, so I will see you tomorrow. It's nighttime. Let's make it daytime. TGIF, let's get the show on the road. I think we have approximately a six hour trip to Iowa because I'm old now and I don't want to do 12 hour one way trips in one day. So let's go to the Airbnb. <laughs> from this guy for Airbnb before, but I wasn't aware he actually lived at this location. They have a great gaming setup. It's a very nice, spacious house. It's a spacious, it's a pretty spacious room. It's, it's nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's one of the nice rooms I've been in. And then they have an adorable dog. Look at this. Look at this. And the dog's just chilling there waiting for me. And I'm just like, I gotta go do a live stream. What's your favorite game? So for like the past two years since quarantine, it's been seven days to die, which is very graphic and pretty freaky. But um, seven days to die. My um, my friend, who's also a martial art and t student instructor, introduced me to it at the beginning of quarantine. And we, he used to come over to my house, or I used to go over to his house during quarantine, and we used to play, like, every Friday night, and drink and eat ice cream until, like, literally anywhere between five to... So the phone died. The stream died. My bad. Thank you for everyone who actually joined and hung out and talked with me. For over an hour, it was actually good to connect with a lot of you who did come on. I have been wanting to do that for a while. And I would like to be more consistent with doing intermittent live streams with you guys to connect more. But I'm really hungry because I haven't had an actual meal today. So I'm going to go. I just ordered some delivery. I'm going to decompress and play video games for an hour or so with a friend. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow as we head to the first official show of this weekend. Let's go. How do we want to transition this? What if we did like, like 
like this, like. Just hypothetically speaking, if you ever want to become a professional touring hypnotist in the United States, but you're very anxious about driving, it might be best for you to fly to and from, in and out of, Iowa and or the Dakotas, because I forgot, as I literally drive through, ah, it's happening right now, god I... This is so weird. In essence, the winds are so strong, they literally move and push car. Like, I'm going 70 miles an hour, that's the speed limit. It, it's literally pushing cars and trucks and even RVs. The winds are so strong, it just pushes you to one side or the other, randomly. It's so strong that, have you ever seen that video on YouTube of the bird that looks like there's a glitch in the matrix because like someone's filming a bird flying above a street or something but the bird is just staying in place the winds are so strong that I'm literally seeing birds fly and it looks like they're flying in place like they're not moving because the winds are so strong they can't move forward I also just pulled over because you know dedication to the craft I had a client request and uh, you know I'm not gonna let people down tis the season in my industry at least so I pulled over really quick. Everyone went super zoom zoom by me while I tried to reach out and say, hey client, I can help you. I can go to Wisconsin. It's not nearly as damn windy over there as it is over here in bumfuck nowhere. So yeah, there's a semi, so I'm gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna be done vlogging until I just get to the school at this point because literally minutes after that last clip, I was driving down the road and a literal semi got caught by the wind and tipped over and almost into like into the grassy median between his side of the road and my side but it almost came onto our side of the road and when I got there multiple people were already like three, four people were already there and I immediately pulled over and just, and like, I, I, after I filmed that, I, I messaged my partner and I was just like, telling her the same thing I told you guys. As I sent her that message, I saw it and I just thought, holy shit. And I immediately pulled over there's like, like I said, three or four people there. I ran across and I just started doing, I just, what can I do to help? They yelled, they need a big sharp knife. I tried to come in my car, get like a utility knife type thing, ran back, they already got stuff they need, whatever, it was fine. I, I tried, I, I was there and, and then we started trying to find someone called number one. Long story short, the guy's okay, but yeah. The winds are like literally that powerful that they are taking literal semis. And I just thought, you know, what if that was me? What if, uh... and then like right after that, I drove away to be, after I made sure everyone was okay and everything was taken care of and the police were on their way. Cause it was us, like literally me and one other guy were directing traffic after we got the guy out of the semi. And I was just like, you know, what if that was me? And then minutes later, after I get back in my car, start driving a semi almost veers off the road in front of me. And I'm just, I got about three hours till I get to the school. So I'm just gonna show not gonna vlog till we get back to the school and uh, just be careful. So I regret to say that unfortunately I fudged this entire university performance which stinks because compared to when I did it years ago this was a great performance 
and we had more people than we had last time, and it was going very, very well. So I'm going to do a quick voiceover since I was never able to upload this because I had no audio. But I totally knocked that dude out who just sat down from the stage because I am a Jedi like that. Now, granted, I don't want him to wake up with neck problems and hate me for the rest of his life and regret ever going to see a hypnotist and never want to see a hypnotist again. So I have our lovely blonde or brunette friend there in the glasses in the second row go over and gently caress his hair and push his head forward so he's in a better physiological position before telling our other gentlemen to just start dancing and that he will get a million dollars for every special dance move like this that he does in front of the audience because he thinks this is AGT because why not? It's hypnosis and let's go. So because of hypnosis, we immediately turn him into a pregnant man and we order the ladies on stage to become nurses and to help him deliver his newborn baby that until minutes ago he was not aware that he was harboring for the past nine months but guess what you got a bun in the oven you need to pop that baby out right now otherwise it could get messy and ugly i don't know how i'm just making stuff up so i can take up time during this narration i hope you enjoy it and then we wrap up this show and speed two and a half hours northwest to our next after prom hypnosis show you can feel it festering in you already and as I start snapping my fingers, that smirk of yours turns into a smile, that smile turns into a chuckle, that chuckle turns into a laughter. On the count of three, you laugh just like that when you look at me in my eyes. One, two, three. How you doing? Good. <laughs> two minutes, she lost her, she lost her marbles. <laughs> Back in the day, I would have taken that personally. <laughs> she would have been like, face laughter. Is my face funny? Don't answer that. Rude. Also, don't face plant. That would not be good. You okay over there? You sure? Look at your peers. You can look at your peers without an issue. It's just the fact that the moment you look me in the eyes, it goes, you can't even do it now. Just the thought of looking at me. Look at my finger. Look at my finger. Take a little deep breath in. Out. Close your eyes. Sleep. Relax. Hold her. Be a friend. Good. Be a friend. Hold her. Okay, good. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any of you. I don't know who's going to go under or who's not. Even if you go under, I don't know who's going to react to what in what way. So I had no idea that she was going to go under the audience, but here's the fact. You can hear my voice, so it translates all the way out into the one, two, third row. So watch this. I'm going to try something. We're going to see if it works. All the way out here. Real time, right next to you. This can't be faked. Person I'm touching now and only person I'm touching now on the count of three is down my fingers. When you wake up, everything can and will be back to normal, but you are going to feel completely and utterly stuck to your chair. The more you try to unstick, the more stuck you become, and the funnier it becomes on the count of one, two, take a deep breath in. Three, eyes open wide awake. Can you do me a really quick favor, honey? Can you just stand up? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> now we have amnesia. So let me try the Jedi mind trick. Look at me. You can think about a simple concept like your name, just don't forget it right now. And thinking about not forgetting and completely letting it go. What was your name? And now she doesn't have a name. I'll tap her on the right shoulder and she can get up now. Get up, stand up. You can do it, stand up. Just like that. Don't break technology, it's expensive. Come this way, come this way. Look over here, you can move. Hey, your head's mobile, good for you. Mine too. Come this way. Let's take the stairs so you don't die. I'll even pull back the curtain. Take the steps safely and slowly. Don't get dead. All right, come over here. And sit right next, right here. Sit right there, you're good to go. Sleep. Sleep. That is ridiculous, isn't it? That's absolutely ridiculous. Sleep, relax, all the way down. Deeper, 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 deeper. That's gonna be you in three, two, sleep. Relax, all the way down. Deeper, 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 deeper. deeper. Funny, huh? They're crazy, right? Yeah. That's not you. Nope, not till now. Sleep. Do you want me to really hypnotize you? If you want me to hypnotize you, I'm gonna give him the power. Are you ready? Watch this. This is gonna be the coolest experience you've had all semester. <coughs> Give him a big high five. Give, give him a big high five in three, two, one. Give him a high five. Seriously. I promise. Three, two. 
How about this? How about this? How about a low five? Low five? Come on, give him a low five. Give him a low five. It's okay. Now. Gianna, did we get hypnotized? Give it up for the hypnotist. Thank you, brother. And the next morning, I have a nice pleasant sleep in and wake up in my Airbnb in the middle of BFE, South Dakota. Very nice cozy place. I didn't realize until I woke up 310 that I had the whole place for myself, which was really cool. They had a little book that showed how they fully reconstructed and remodeled the place, kind of like the staircase I just came down to, which was pretty sweet. I filled out the obligatory date and signature of random people who came, went to a near subway, grabbed a bite to eat, and then tried to travel all the way home. Got tired, went to Des Moines, Iowa, Hampton Inn, used wireless keyless Choo Choo Sebring unlock door, gave a quick tour of my hotel room. Hey, look, showerhead, and then did another live stream. I provided you guys with an abundance of inside jokes for the future. You're not going to explain said inside jokes. We're just going to use them as inside jokes in the comment sections of future live streams, since there's only a few people in here in this one, and or future YouTube videos. It's kind of like a Ko-Fi Inner Circle. This is what we do in the Ko-Fi Inner Circle every month. We get together, we talk for hours, we hang out, we, we joke, we game, we do whatever. And then we come up with these things that, like, you guys, a lot of you don't even know. Like, there are comments that people make on my videos that are in the Inner Circle that are, like, subtly an inside joke that no one else gets. And this is, I feel like this is now our, our version of that. Fancy showerhead, yes. Maybe the Wi-Fi just sucks on the bed. Maybe. The showerhead is fancy, but the premium... <laughs> You're not wrong. Fancy. On par. Five star top tier showerhead with diverse holes. Shit Wi-Fi. It's dark outside. 901 Eastern Standard Time. Literally just pulled up and we're back. This weekend tour's over. The spring tour is still going. Minnesota next week. That was a hectic weekend. My back hurts. I can't wait to go to my memory foam bed. Leave my head on my memory foam pillow. The hotel last night was great though. Uh, thank you to everyone who watches to the end. I uh, appreciate you. And yeah. Meta transition because that John that you just saw right there, past past John. I'm I'm less past John. I'm current past John. Still past to you, but present to me, future to him. I was very out of it mentally and otherwise there, so I droned on and on and on. As you can see in this clip that I'm cutting that out, and I'm just going to try to summarize that here in jump clip formation. So first and foremost, just a huge shout out to all of my Kofi supporters, both your ad blockers and people in my inner circle. I know I say that a lot in the past year, but the truth is that since the YouTube adpocalypse in 2017, you guys are literally now the lifeblood of my YouTube channel, and you are literally what helps it keep running and makes this worth it. So I love those of you who are supporting in any way, shape, or form if you can. And yeah, just huge thank you because we made literally more in the first four months of, of, of connecting our channel to Kofi than we made in four years of YouTube AdSense, if that tells you anything about how the apocalypse affected YouTube. Not only that, but I've been making sure that I'm fully dedicated to my Kofi family the way that they've been dedicated to me. Those of you who've continued to support, especially those of you who've been around my channel for years and years and years, have noticed that my channel has gone from one or a few ads to literally no ads on any videos at any point. And that's because I want to dedicate these projects and these videos and such to you ad-free, the same way you dedicate yourself now to my and, and this community. So... I actually recently turned down a solicitation for four figures because even though it was offering me a lot of money up front, the purpose of Kofi was to literally replace those opportunities. So I didn't need those. I didn't have to have those. So literally you guys are keeping the channel afloat. I sincerely appreciate you. And if I would have taken something like that, when you guys were already doing, you know, your part to contribute, I would have felt icky and, and just wrong taking their money and your money. So literally your support makes all the difference. And thirdly, because I know people were wondering about the next Kofi Inner Circle Hangout, unfortunately, we've already passed it in May just because I've ha I promised students I was entertaining during the tour, I would upload their clips as soon as possible, and then I was going to upload this vlog after all those clips were uploaded. Unfortunately, 
as a result of that timeline, the Kofi Inner Circle for May has already occurred in May earlier on. It usually covers the first week of the month, but you can still use the link in the description to join our June upcoming Kofi Inner Circle Hangout and just hang out for a few hours. Uh, come and have fun with a bunch of us. We had two new people join in the past two months. They're great people, hilarious. We had an amazing and our longest ever stream uh, this past uh, stream. But yeah, come hang out and get some inside scoops that not everyone gets. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed live chatting with me during this live premiere. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And I will see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves.